Hey guys, what's up? You're here with Amanda. So if you guys are already a subscriber of this channel, welcome back. If you're new because you're interested in the camera unboxing as well as kind of demo, then welcome. Hope you guys stick around. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the new, well, it's not new, but it's new to me, the EOS M50 by Canon. I'm super excited for this. It was very impulse, unfortunately, I will admit, but I have been on the market for a new kind of vlogging camera, smaller than my current DSLR, and this is what I decided to go with. So I did just buy it today, and I went to go pick it up from Best Buy. I did pay close to $600 for it. It was about $595 after taxes with the current Cyber Monday sale that they are having for this. So I did go ahead and just pick it up, and we're going to go ahead and get into an unboxing. I'm going to do side-by-side -side comparisons of this camera as well as my current DSLR, which is an EOS Rebel T5. I, which is the standard lens that comes with the camera. Okay, so I did go ahead and switch our angle really quickly just so that we can get a better view of the camera. So I really do hope that this angle isn't hurting anyone's head. I'm going to try my best to make it straight to the lens and not let it kind of like, I don't know, be a weird view. This is what the box looks like. It just says Canon EOS M50 and it has pictures of what everything includes or what comes in the box. Sorry if my hands are a little weird. I did just paint my nails, so that's why. Okay, so this is the first thing that we see on top when we do open the box. Sorry, my Christmas tree is kind of in the way. So on the top we do have, I'm gonna assume this is like, not necessarily a user manual, but okay, so this is like the warranty that comes with the camera. Then next we have the actual user manual, which is really good that it comes in several languages. So if you guys do not just speak English, they do have um, English, French, um, Spanish, and then a couple of other ones that I do not know how to pronounce. Then next we have the register your Canon product now. Um, I don't really know exactly what that is, so if anybody has some information on that, please just go ahead and let me know down below. And then we have this other little piece of cardboard that you just go ahead and lift and we have the rest of the package inside. So the first thing that we have right here is the camera strap. So I do currently have mine on my DSLR right now. I don't really ever use it. It's kind of just like there for if I wanted to take it um, to take pictures or anything, then I would have a convenient way of holding it. So it just comes with this really nice Canon camera strap. So you connect it with your camera here. Um, and I don't really know if I'll demonstrate it, but we'll go ahead and see, because I'm not sure that I'm gonna need this on this camera. So then the next thing that we have is whatever is in here. So I wanna say this is either the battery or the way to charge the battery. So when we open this, oh, I just lied to myself. It's actually the lens. For a second there, I was like, why is the battery so big? But this is actually going to be our lens. So it is the um, 15 to 45 millimeter lens and so this is the one that does just come with the camera so let's go ahead and take this out so the cute thing is that like the dslr this one does come with a lens cap which i would assume that almost all canon cameras come with because that is very important i really do hate to store my camera without a lens cap so i'm super excited to have that on here and on the back we do have one of the other kind of covers that is used to put your camera lens away when you're not using it. So the really cool thing about this lens is that I want to say this top notch does like the focus and autofocus and then this bigger one um, I guess doesn't do anything right now. <laughs> I'm not completely sure but we'll definitely find that out. I just feel like I didn't put this lens cap back on the right way. So the next thing in here is actually going to be our battery. So this is not the charger, it's just the battery itself. So it is one of these smaller Canon ones. Of course, it's not the same as the one that we use with the DSLR, um, but the cool thing is that it does have like a little battery cap right now. And so this is what it looks like if you wanna see it without the little cap on. So that is all for this little like front portion of the box. So we can go ahead and I was gonna try to remove this, but it's not gonna budge. So we'll go ahead and grab this next thing, which I think is actually the camera, which I wanna save for last. So before we get to this, we will grab the battery charger. 
So in here is the battery charger. The good thing about this one, or not necessarily a good thing, but the difference between this one and the DSLR charger is that this one plugs directly into the wall um, with this little plug-in. I was gonna say like outlet, that's not the outlet. So this does go directly into the wall and it has a little light that tells you when it's charging and when your battery is full. So now for the camera, I'm gonna go ahead and just scoot the box over because that is all that was in here. So when we open all of the bubble wrap, oh my gosh, we have the body of the actual camera. So again, um, if you forgot, this is the EOS M50. So I got this one because I wanna say this is the one Haley Fam uses or used to use. Um, a lot of people are starting to prefer this camera over the G7X, which is the one I was actually looking into. But this one, I wanna say was actually cheaper than the other one and is the one that a lot of people are starting to move towards. So this is what the actual body of the camera looks like already straight off the bat. It is a lot smaller and more compact than a DSLR. It is still kind of weighted, like it has a good amount of weight to it. Um, but the good thing about this is it has kind of this little ledge right here that allows you to grip it a lot easier whether you were putting your thumb here or had your fingers wrapped around it in the front. It just gives you a place to like actually hold the camera and make sure that you have a grip on it. So this is what the front looks like and it comes with that same or like a similar cap as the one that's on the front of the lens. So up at the top, this is what we see. We have all of the different modes on the camera. Um, manual, AV, TVP, automatic, um, and then whatever these other ones mean. I know this one is clearly to record. Oh crap, I need that focus. This one is clearly to record, so the way to get that is you would just spin it till that one is where the line is. So then you'd be recording. We have the on and off switch right here, the actual recording button, the shutter button, and then I'm not exactly sure what that button is quite yet, but I'll definitely find out in a second. It has a spot for you to go ahead and attach an external microphone right here, which of course I'd have to slide this thing out or I don't exactly know how, but I know that this can come out and then you can go ahead and slide an actual um, microphone onto here. There we go. So we got that off and then you can definitely attach um, any Rode microphone or other things like that right here and then it just fits perfectly and sits right on top of your camera. So then on this other side of the camera, this is what everything looks like. This is, I'm not sure the exact term, but you would look in here if you have the viewfinder off and then that's how you're able to see whatever image that you are looking at. And then if we can focus on this little area, this is where you would see like your basic like your camera roll basically, for lack of a better term. Um, you have the autofocus, manual focus, the settings, the delete button, the flash, and then I'm not quite sure what that is, but that's there. And then you have these two buttons over here, which I also don't know what they are. But then we have the actual viewfinder, which I'm trying to not get it dirty because how I just painted my nails. But this is what the screen looks like. But the good thing about this camera is that the viewfinder does come out on the side, which I know if you guys had the G7X, that is going to be different for you and something that you're gonna have to adapt to. So really quick, if you're not aware, to attach the lens, you have to match up the white dot with the white dot on the camera. And then once you attach it that way, you just spin it and it'll lock in on its own. So white dot to white dot and then attach. Okay, so before we get into kind of comparing just the actual quality of the cameras, I wanted to come on here without using my microphone so you guys can hear the quality of the audio on the EOS T5i on its own. So I do not have a microphone on my camera right now. Sorry, I'm shaky. I'm also using my hand and this camera is pretty big to film with. So. This is what the audio sounds like on its own. When we test the M50, it is also gonna be on its own. No um, microphone, I'm in the same atmosphere, same room with the same noises. So that's gonna be something that you're gonna to wanna to listen for. Once it's done charging, we're gonna go ahead and compare the audio as well as the display at the same time because it's just gonna be a whole different camera that I'm filming on. Okay, so this is me and now using the EOS M50. This is the same exact spot I was standing in earlier. No microphone, literally, I'm just so happy. It's filming so well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the light to my dorm room and now the room is literally all dark. It just has light from one window and literally look 
and how amazing it looks. It literally, I just feel like, okay, hold on. I need to like slow down just a little bit. To me, it just looks so smooth. Sorry, I was literally looking at myself in the viewfinder right now, which you guys could probably tell, but like, I feel like it looks the same, if not different than my T5i. Like literally, just look at how good. And then this is the one that I used to film on and I just feel like it's making this one looks so bad <laughs> so if you guys are interested in either one of these cameras i hope this video helps you out in terms of trying to choose which one is best for you to purchase again i hope that this helps you if you have any questions definitely let me know we're gonna go stand in front of the window and see what like total natural light looks like because it's supposed to be able to like autofocus this to make it look so nice look at that it adjusted so quickly that is so cool now i'm gonna stand over here this is such, such a good camera. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started. Okay, so we are now back on my Canon T5i with the microphone, which is the same exact setup we had in the intro and the unboxing. So hopefully this gives you a last comparison between this and the M50, which is what we just shot with. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I really do hope it was helpful in one way or another. If you have any other questions, please make sure to leave them below and if I can't answer them, I'm sure someone else will definitely be able to. Regardless of what camera you choose, just make sure it's within your budget and something that you enjoy using because this camera is just as good as the one that I showed you guys which is just as good as maybe the G7X. It all just depends on your budget, where you are, and which one you want to invest in. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.